previously. Lights! On! Maybe! This is good. This is good stuff, man. Look at them. Brain freeze! In December, we had the opportunity to travel to Taiwan with my wife Chantel. We explored the country from top to bottom, we learned about something called Taiwanese Ruqing, and came out of it with that much more of an appreciation for the people, the culture, the landscapes, and very full and satisfied tummies. I don't know if we've pushed ourselves to the limit as much as we have on this trip, but that's kind of what travel is all about. This was one awesome trip that I'll never forget. We start off our third day getting a little confused. I don't know where we're going. All right, it was a bit of a trek to get here. Coming out of the subway, there was like a B1 and B3 sign, and they pointed in different directions. So we followed B3 for a bit. We found an area for the train, and it told us that um, our train was actually on the 1B platform. So then we switched around, went to B1. We're now here. I think we're in the right spot because like we saw our train number 1307. We're in the waiting area right now. I think we're good. I think we're good. <laughs> We made it on the train. We're at seats. 10 D and uh, I think it's an hour and a half ride. Give us some time to get some shut eye and maybe nap a bit. So enjoy the ride. I'll say that uh, being on the high speed rail here in Taiwan is very similar to the Japanese Shinkansen, the bullet train. It's very fast, uh, very quiet, very smooth, and very clean as well. All right, made it to Sha Yi. <laughs> it's 10.30, right on the dot. Welcome to the zip tie capital. I love zip ties. We are just told that it's at platform number three for our bus over to Alisan. <sighs> Newbie fail, I um, must have put my um, subway card near my phone so it deactivated. I put it in cash not knowing that it doesn't give a uh, change back. And it's gonna actually take about three hours all the way up to Aisan. We decided, I think we're gonna take a detour in Finchihu, get off there, and see if we can catch another bus up to Aisan. Uh, we didn't buy lunch, so I think we're gonna be a bit hungry when we get there. This is our lunch. Being a little nauseous. And I don't blame her with all the crazy turns we had to deal with. Bathroom break here in uh, Sizao, one of the small towns right here. But we're going to Sun Love It because Chantel wants to check her easy card. Hopefully, no issues with the card. Okay, so we figured it out. I bought her the wrong card. It's some sort of uh, eye cash thing uh, when we should have gotten an easy card. So they don't work on all the buses. So that's my mistake. Hopefully, you guys learn from that. And look out for that logo. So we got off our bus a stop earlier into the town of Fenchihu. And this is actually where they have the Alisan Forest Railway Museum, which we got a chance to explore. And then once we were done there, we went into the old town. So bags in. For each three hours, 50. Five. Aha. So we're on the hunt right now for the Fenchihu bento box guy. One guy that's super famous. Apparently he is the original bento box. 60 years of classic bento box. Okay, I think we found it. We are gonna have this. Let's get our own tables over here. Looks like everyone's eating bento boxes. Just got one of these guys. So this is the original bento box. It's for 120 Taiwan dollars. You get, you get a free cup of soup here. Bamboo shoots and mushroom. And in the bento box, we got drumstick, I think chicken thigh, um, tea egg, some other things on the side, and rice. But the drumstick, super, super tender. Really tasty as well. This actually is not a, this guy's not a chicken thigh. It's pork chop. It's so good. We got a second one. one. Mochi. Come on, mochi. Open sesame. Alright, we're back on the bus and headed up to Alisai. Just got to the entrance of the park, I guess. We paid 
uh, 300 for the both of us to get in. But we gotta walk two to 300 meters up this way to, okay, made it to the train station. We got our tickets for tomorrow morning. We debated whether we should do this, but I mean, we're here, right? So tomorrow, 5.40 departure. They said come 30 minutes before to get seats. Uh, sunrise is at 6.50. They haven't seen a proper sunrise in I think five or six days. So I think the chances are gonna be pretty low. We might be disappointed, but what the heck. So Professor William here, here to teach you what the proper way is to explore Ali San. Up here you have the recommended itinerary for Ali San. You can see that we are currently here. And tomorrow for sunrise, we're going up to Jusan. So that's this train that goes all the way here. The train departs at 5.40, sunrise at 6.50, but a return trip, which is now gonna take us from Jusan back to Chaoping. And we're gonna get off early because that's where we're gonna start our walking adventure in Alisan. And we're gonna walk down this path and maybe some side trails along the way, I'm not really sure. And then we're gonna see the famous sacred tree. And then from sacred tree, we're gonna buy a ticket and take the train back to Alisan, completing the Alisan Triangle. And there you have it. That's how you explore Alisan. Trying to head to our hotel for the night, which is Alisan House. Why? Rain! Where are Marco? Hello! Oh, you can't even see. It's the visibility is nil. We head down to the visitor center area and we got picked up by our Ali Sun House shuttle ride. We picked this property because this is one of the few ones that is actually in the park. All right, so I'm up here on the eighth floor of the observation deck here at the Ali Sun House. Oh, the view's amazing. There's, we are literally above the clouds. You gotta check this out. Welcome guys to our room. What? Got it. Now welcome to our room. I guess the question is, who's gonna take what bed? We got two king size beds, got a fireplace back here, which is really cool. And bathroom looks really good too. So we got the shower here and a tub, double vanity sink here, really large toilet, great start. So we're gonna rest for today, have some food, and then um, yeah, we're gonna start our adventures to Ali San Mountain and the entire park tomorrow. Oh, the things we do for sunrises. So what do you think our chances are? Maybe 35% of seeing it. I was clearly pretty skeptical. So we're now waiting for sunrise to come up. We set up the tripod and my GoPro and all that. We got this crazy guy telling stories. It's kind of a, quite the character. <laughs> Lots of my blood here. The clouds are starting to clear up. I see a bit of blue. It's good. It's not raining. Really, we're really lucky. So today might be the day. So we waited in anticipation, and for a while it actually looked pretty good. It looked like the sky was opening up, the clouds were parting, but as time moved on, more and more clouds rolled in and they grew and grew. No sunrise today. I only made it back to the hotel, and I'm so glad we came back for breakfast because, man, look what we got here, the Yakult. We got freshly made noodles Vermicelli back here, noodle. vermicelli, uh, eggs. We got a whole buffet line. I think there's even ice cream and coffee and everything. I don't even know if we're gonna go start our hike. Let's chow down. Allison House. Oh man, we are definitely out of shape. The food that we ate for breakfast, I think we ate too much. We spent the rest of the day hiking through the various trails at the Alisan Forest Park. In a lot of ways, it actually reminded me of Japan, just somewhere that was really clean, really organized, and just really scenic as well. I feel like, I feel like I'm, I'm in uh, Lord of the Rings here. I don't know if you guys are getting that vibe, but with the gnarly trees, 
Entwood maybe? This could be the Entz right here. Geek mode. It's really cool here. This is harder than it looks. <laughs> this is Shou Zen Temple. Two zero 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 years old. That's old. Well, Alisan in a nutshell, I gotta say it's sea cloud, fog, giant trees, forests like in Lord of the Rings, and old school trains. Oh no. <laughs> Belly wrap. More? <laughs> we're now wrapping things up in Alisan. We're back at the main bus station and waiting for our bus to get back to Jiayi before we head down to Kaohsiung. We're almost there. Welcome to Kaohsiung. Now I thought our hotel in Kaohsiung was a little bit far, but hey, they had a really good breakfast. We came out of it really, really full. And then we hit the road. We caught a cab to go back in the city so that we could start exploring. But first we went back to the train station so that we could drop off our bags. Bags are dropped and we're gonna we're gonna have some fun in Kaohsiung. We ran into a really nice security guard yeah. here. He pretty much walked us all the way through. We which got is, a refund as well on our got a refund? metro card. Um, I mean, that's just been a testament to, to Taiwan so far. Everyone's just super friendly, willing to help. We're looking on the map and there's another type of stop, TRA, which is actually closer to the Dragon and Tiger Pagoda that we wanted to go. Now after a short ride away and a walk, we finally made it to the Tiger and Dragon Pagodas. I don't know if I've seen anything like this before, where you have two pagodas side by side with giant pair of dragon and tiger welcoming you inside. Apparently it's good luck to enter through the dragon and out through the tiger. Once you're inside, you can actually explore quite a bit, climbing up to the top of either pagoda and get great views. Now, of course, we had to have a little bit of fun here. Oh, and guess what? We found Hong Kong bubble waffles right across the street. The biggest surprise was to come, though, when we made our way to the Pier 2 Art Center. Set in the retro location of a site of abandoned warehouses, this is a place that has been brought back to life with its thriving contemporary art scene. It's a hub of creativity and imagination where graffiti art stands next to ironworks, sculptures, and modern paintings. We discovered this by accident. Sunny Hills actually has a store in Kaohsiung and they give free samples. Of course, we didn't stop there. So we're at Gong Yuan, noodle, beef noodle restaurant here in Kaohsiung. This is my second time. I wanted to bring Chantel, so let's, let's give it a shot. Really good. Just as fancy as the previous place. Check out this beef though. Mm, love these thick slices of beef. It's in a nice, nice beef broth. Scallions on top. Riding on a high, and we dropped by this place called Bueno Pops. We thought it would be really cool because they had really awesome design cones. But really, at the end of the day, nothing much to talk about because it didn't taste that good. I don't even know how to eat this. After we made a quick pit stop for bubble tea, we finally made it to the Dome of Light. This is at the Formosa the MRT station here in Kaohsiung, and it's a pretty cool spot because it's the world's largest public installation of art made out of individual pieces of glass. So it's pretty unique in that, right? The artwork that you see up there is based off of the four elements of water, earth, fire, and light. Next time on 12 Days in Taiwan. Now it is windy here. Somehow survived.